Hi, welcome back to Madam Swan channel. You are with me, Madam Wan Zanaria from College Matriculasi Negeri Sembilan. At the end of the lesson, student must be able to verifying, simplifying and solving trigonometric identities. Let's get started. Example 1. We are going to prove on the left hand side function equals to 1. Since the question wants us to prove, we have to choose left hand side or right hand side. And now we are going to choose the left hand side because that's the only function that we can work on. Okay, and we are going to change the function to the simplest, the simplest uh, trigonometric function which is 1 over cosecant is 1 over sine cotangent tangent is basically sine over cos so cotangent is cos over sine one over sine theta minus cos theta over sine theta okay and then since this uh, denominator is the same so nothing much to do except that we are going to expand this with this okay so 1 times 1 is 1 minus cos theta plus cos theta minus cos square theta okay this is all over so sin theta times sin theta is equals to sin square theta so cos theta cos theta cancel out 1 minus cos square theta so just now we have sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Therefore, 1 minus cos square theta is equals to sine square theta. So top and bottom can be cancelled out. Just 1. So proven. Second question, again, we are going to verifying left-hand side to the right-hand side. Let's say I'm choosing left-hand side. So, tangent is basically sine theta over cos theta. While cotangent is cos theta over sine theta. Since the denominator it's not the same. We are going to equalize them. So, sine square theta plus cos square theta over cos theta sine theta. This is equals to 1 cos theta sine theta. Okay. So, if we separate them, 1 over cos is basically secant. And 1 over sine is cosecant. Ta-da! Okay, now let's solve this trigonometric equation. 3 sine square x minus 17 sine x plus 10 equals to z, 0. So, we may let our u equals to sine x. Therefore, this will be 3u square minus 17u plus 10 equals to 0. And then you might press your calculator. Then we we'll give us u minus 5 and 3u minus 2 equals to 0. So u equals to 5 or u equals to 2 over 3. Don't forget to substitute back our u, which is sine x equals to 5. So, since sine x equals to 5, 
there's no value for that so we have to reject how about sin x equals to 2 over 3 So, bear in mind that the theta is in between 0 until 360. So, sign positive at the first and the second quadrant. Remember? So, shift sign to over 3 will give us 41.81 which is over here. And if we want... From here to here, we have to minus 180 with 41.81, which is 38.19. Okay, we can square x minus 3 tangent x plus 1 equals to 0. Geometry identity. We have... 1 plus tangent square theta equals to secant square theta. So in our case, we want x, so we just let it be as x. Okay. So this we have to change to the plus tangent square x minus 3 tangent x plus 1 equals to 0. We rearrange that tangent square x minus 3 tangent x plus 2 equals to 0. Okay, so let u, u is tangent x. So u square minus 3 u plus 2 equals to 0. Okay, u 1 u 2 minus Okay, so u equals to 1 or u equals to 2. Okay, and substitute back tangent x equals to 1, which will give us 45 degree at the first quadrant. Positive at the first and the third quadrant. So, third quadrant, 180 plus 45 give us 225. While here, tangent x equals to 2, shift tangent 3.43. Do you manage to get the same answer as me? Make sure you try, huh? Okay, so again, tangent positive at the first and third. So, at the third quadrant, you're going to plus with 180 degree, which will give us 243.43. Okay? We are coming to an end. So now this time, given that theta no longer in between 0 until 360, but it is in between negative 360. That means that you also have to consider the clockwise direction. Okay. So again, secant square theta according to the trigonometric identity 1 plus tangent square theta equals to secant square theta. Okay, we're going to substitute this. Therefore, for secant, so for multiply with 1 plus tangent square theta minus 3 tangent theta equals to 5. Okay, and then we expand 4 plus 4 tangent square theta minus 3 tangent theta minus 5 equals to Z, 0. So now 4 minus 5 is equals to tangent theta and now we substitute 4u square minus 3u minus 1 equals to 0. Now you have to press your calculator 4u plus 1. Okay, 
this will give us u equals to 1 or u equals to negative 1 over 4. Alright, so don't forget, once you substitute, don't forget to substitute back. Theta equals to 1, so shift tangent 1, the basic angle is 45 degree. But, 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 bear in mind that we have to find the theta all around in between negative 360 up to 360. So, 45 here. So, positive at the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So, at the third quadrant is 180, my, uh, 180 plus 45 will give us 225. But, we also have to find the clockwise direction. Okay, where? From here to here. So, negative 360 plus 45 will give us 315. Negative 315 degree. And the side quadrant but rotating clockwise direction. So, negative 180 plus with 45 degree will give us negative 135. Okay, I would recommend you to rearrange your answer in increasing order. Okay? And we're going to do the same for u equals to negative 1 over 4. So now u is equals negative 1 over 4. Therefore, tangent theta. Okay, negative 1 over 4. So now theta, so we are finding tangent negative this time. Tangent negative is at second and fourth quadrant. Okay, so 0 0.04 degree. Okay, but that is for the basic angle 14.04 here. But we want at the second quadrant. Okay, so we know that here is 14.04. We want from here to here. Okay, so 180 degree minus the answer just now is 165.96. And at the fourth quadrant, we want here from here to here. So, 360 degree minus our answer just now. 360 degree minus with 14.04. 345. 0.96. Okay. Quite tricky, right? <laughs> okay. We have done finding trigonometry angle. The theta is in between 0 until 360. Now we have to find the root, the clockwise direction where the theta is negative. Okay. So let's say I'm using the green color so it becomes clear to you. Just now we have 14.04. Okay. Again, we want negative. Tangent negative is at second and fourth quadrant so here also we have negative 14.04 and we want from here okay we know this is 14.04 as well we want from here to here so it is 180 Half rotation 180 plus with 14.4. So it will give us 194.04 but negative. Okay. So these are all the possible values. 
for theta. I really hope by doing this example, all of you already mastered in finding the angle, not just the positive angle, but the negative angle as well. When given the theta is in between negative 180 or negative 360. Okay, that's it from me. I'll see you on the next video, 5.4.